Yo, hello everybody, it's Nicholas here, and welcome to episode 23, if I'm not mistaken, of our Last of Us Let's Play right here on the channel. Of course, if you guys missed the previous episode, you can always find the link to the playlist in the description down below. Uh, but in the previous episode, we finally made our way to the hospital uh, where the fireflies are held up, and we basically found out that Ellie is kind of in a bad position right now um basically they're gonna have to sacrifice ellie in order to find the cure and to make a vaccine out of her resulting in her well dying basically either way we made our way to the oh there's someone right there let me not be running around uh we made our way to the hospital um where we ended up killing some fireflies we got stuck we got just absolutely annoyed with how many guys there are here uh so in today's episode we're gonna go ahead kill all the fireflies make our way through this hospital uh, and call it a day um hopefully finding ellie uh and, and saving her so we can actually craft a health kit um i will ended up checking out some of the rooms uh, i kind of want to check out another one but i see a dude over there um i, I don't know how i want to do this because there's one dude there. There's like other guys back there. There we go. I think I'm gonna do this partially stealthy. Um, there's another guy down there. It looks like yeah. Uh, unfortunately, since I did play through most of this game, uh, just guns blazing. Um. This is gonna be rough. <laughs> it's gonna be a little rough for us, but we're gonna try to do it. Um, so I don't know where. Oh, we're down here. Okay, I was gonna say where did I end up going? So there's a guy there. I already killed some of the guys, um, but we have to kill the rest, <laughs> obviously. So there's another guy down there too. Don't know if I'll be able to knife him. I'm trying to knife. Oh, it won't let me. Why not? I guess that's only... I guess since I technically wasn't sneaking, it won't let me. Fair enough. He has nothing for me. Okay. So then there was another dude with a flashlight. Let's actually go back through here. Um, give me that ammo. I want to go through this room. I already went through this room a little bit uh, and found some stuff. I'm pretty sure I got all the resources uh, resources out of this room. Um, looks like so. I don't hear anyone. There's a dude down there. I don't know how I want to do this exactly. I know there's there's a dude right there. There's another guy. Alright, I mean, I really don't have any other choice. Can I see? I don't think I can get him through here. How did he see me? How did he see me? Okay, let's actually do this. By the way, this is going to take a while. I'm sorry. This is going to take a while. Um, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> so this is going to take a while. I'll just admit right now. There's a guy down here. Right there. Oh my god, it's gonna take all the ammo I have in this gun. I think that's just wasting ammo. I 
I still hear someone down there. Okay, there's a guy right in there. Okay. There's, another, there's two other guys, it looks like. That guy has to be dead. Where did that come from? Sometimes it sounds like they're so close. Alright. I know there's a few guys down here. There's one dude right in front of us. I was going to say, you have to be dead after that. Right? <laughs> it sounds clear. There's a dude right there. I want, I, I might hold off on that health cut. Actually, let's just, let's just use it. We can get max health anyways. Might as well. Um, we need alcohol to make another one yet. Okay. Uh, I don't know how, I don't think I can sneak up behind that guy. This leads to a dead end. So. So, what we're going to have to do. I don't know if that's the last guy or not. I, I don't know how many guys are down here. I can't tell. Um, but what we're going to have to do. Oh, there's another dude too. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Give me one second. like one ammo left I don't know if I did it or not nope that might have did it nope that has to that did it that man is down okay I mean I'm not so good with the bow and arrow, so... Flamethrower it is, and there's another guy down here, too. As long as nobody's, like... Behind me? Or to the left of me? As long as this is, like, they're just all in front of me? I should be good. But I think... Oh, somebody is over there. I'm out. I'm gonna run out of ammo. I mean, that's just how. It, that's just what's gonna happen. Can't tell if that got him or not. I hear somebody like coming. I'm going off the idea that he is dead. Oh, no, is he not? I can't tell where these shots are coming from. Okay. He has to have been he has to be dead. Can I make Um, does that use alcohol? No, it does not. Does it use a rag? No, it does not. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do... I think I'm gonna make this. And I think... I'm just gonna have to sneak up down that dude. I 
I don't know if he's even still there. Wait. I can't, I can't do anything. I literally have no ammo now. I have this, but I mean, what's that? Ah, oh, this is so stupid. Do you know how many times I've shot this guy? I'm going to die. Like, I'm going to die. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I'm going to die. I don't have enough health for this. Like I said in the previous episode, I'm honestly shocked that there's no health kits here. Like, I feel like this would be, if there's any room, this would be where there's health kits and... But no. Oh, there's still another dude. I really can't tell. If there's any more guys. I want to believe I got them all. But I can't tell for sure. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's make it sure that's loaded up. I need health more than anything. So I think we have to go down there. I mean, I need health more than anything. What do I need to make it? What do I need? I need alcohol. I have a rag. I just need alcohol. Okay, I think I got everyone. What's in here? Okay. We almost have enough. And that's just to make one health kit. But it is what it is. Um please don't send reinforcement right now. Alright, let me make sure. No, I have no ammo except for, okay. I I thought I had other pistol ammo. But I guess not. So I have to go down there. But I, I don't have any health to... Because there's going to be like a... There's going to be another room of guys. I can't go up there. Like there's going to be a ton more. And I can't do anything with... One bar of health. Oh my gosh. Thank you for that. Okay, so we got a little bit of health. We still need, like, like a bottle of alcohol. Right? That'll do it. That'll do it. Let me make sure I'm selected on a better weapon here. Jeez. Just trying to kill me. Alright, uh, have I been down here? I think I have some font tape. I don't know what I need. I don't think I need tape. Tape is the least of my concerns. So I think I go down to the west wing. I really want to find alcohol, though. That's all I need. Just to make one health kit. 
Heal up. Call it good. You're telling me there's none in here. There's none in this hospital. We have a rag. <laughs> we have a rag. That's not what I need. I don't think we'll be able to make it through if... Alright, well... <laughs> Screw it. I think I checked like every room there was. That's a brick. I didn't see anything in that room. Alright. Let me make sure real quick. Did I go through here? Yeah. There wasn't anything in here. Alright. Even if there's just like health lying around. I'd rather take that than... Nothing at all, but... Okay, so there's stuff in here. You're dead, um, can I lure him out of here? How many guys are in here? Just one. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. <sighs> Why? Why? Okay. Apparently I'm full on assault rifle ammo. Cool. But let us explore this area. Stairwell B. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can walk up here. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Give me that. Oh my goodness. Give me that. Okay. I will take it. I will take it. I will take it. So. um, I didn't see anything down here. Let me double check. Yeah, I didn't see anything down here. Cool. Um, I'm gonna have to go through there, it looks like. But first... Just wanna make sure I'm not missing, like, any doors or... I'm sure I'm gonna miss, like, a lot of... I'm sure there's a ton of, like, um... Papers to read and, like, documents. I'm sure I'm gonna miss some stuff. I don't want to, but... I'm sure I'm going to. All right, just hold these guys off. And they said it was at the very top. The top we go. Okay, I'm sneaking. Even though I'm pretty sure no one's up here, I'm sneaking. Give me that. Give me all of this. Oh my goodness. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Marlene's recorder one. It's 5.30 p.m. on April 28th. I just finished speaking. I don't know. More like yelling at our head surgeon. Apparently, there's no way to extricate the parasite without eliminating the host. Fancy way of saying we gotta kill the fucking kid. But now they're asking for my go-ahead. 
The tests just keep getting harder and harder, don't they? I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. And I just want this to end. So, like I said earlier, basically, they have to kill Ellie in order to extract the parasite in order to get this key here. Which, I mean, it's like, I don't know if, it's weird to me because it's like, we don't know, I'm not sure if there are others like Ellie, I'm sure there has to be. I'm sure Ellie just can't be the only one. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have to go down this door right there. Uh, Ellie can't be the only one. We need a full shiv. I don't even know if I... I can craft one. Okay. I don't know if Ellie... Um, I I'm pretty sure Ellie's not the only one. This will give me a lot of supplies. I'm hoping. Ammo, ammo, yes, 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 give me all of this. This is what I need. We got Firefly Pendant. Who is this? Bri Briani? 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 Okay. Um, it's like, I mean, I'm sure, I, I don't know if Marlene knew about this going into, I think when she set Tess and I up, to take Ellie, I'm pretty sure she had no idea that. Where does this come from? Is that where we have to go? That's a surgery up there. Hold on, before we go there, there's another recorder. Hold on, before we do that, let's listen to this too. April 28, Marlene was right. The girl's infection is like nothing I've ever seen. The cause of her immunity is uncertain. As we've seen in all past cases, the antigenic titers of the patient's cordyceps remain high in both the serum and the cerebrospinal fluid. Blood cultures taken from the patient rapidly grow cordyceps and fungal media in the lab. However, white blood cell lines, including percentages and absolute counts, are completely normal. There is no elevation of pro-inflammatory cytokines, and an MRI of the brain shows no evidence of fungal growth in the limbic regions, which would normally accompany the prodrome of aggression in infected patients. We must find a way to replicate this state under laboratory conditions. We're about to hit a milestone in human history equal to the discovery of penicillin. After years of wandering in circles, we're about to come home, make a difference and bring the human race back into control of its own destiny. All of our sacrifices and the hundreds of men and women who've bled for this cause, or worse, will not be in vain. So like I was saying, there has to be, I don't know, I, I, there has to be others like Ellie. She can't be the only one, but at the same time, I don't know where we're going. That's a surgery up ahead. Um, that's where we have to go, right? We have to go to the surgery room. Um, it's like, I think, I, I guess while we're at it, the, dis the idea of sacrificing Ellie, I mean, it's like in Joel's position here, right? We've already lost. I mean, we've already... I don't know where I'm going. We've already lost people. We've already, you know, the world's already taken so much from us that it's like, if it's somebody that you really care about, yes, it's for the great, it's for the man, it's for mankind. It's greater than that. It's it's for the future. It's for, you know, the, the, the human race. But at the same time, I, I don't know. What's this say? Let's read Marlene's journal. 
On March 15th, we finally crossed the Utah border. In a couple days, we'll be back with the others. Today, the crew was in much better spirits. I've been worried about their morale since Greg and Tanya's passing last week. It's good to hear them laughing again. Robin came home, came up to me and said, thanks for watching over us, Marlene. It was a small gesture, but I needed it. March 23rd, Ellie never made it. We arrived at the hospital. There was much celebration, at least from the others. I guess they're happy to see their old friends. We haven't seen some of these guys in over 10 years. After they told me the news, I couldn't eat. I couldn't talk to anyone. I should be grateful to just be alive. But right now, I just want to shut my eyes for a bit. March 24th. They look at me, and I know they're thinking they're a bunch of incompetent incompet grunts. What was I supposed to do? I thought I was going to die. My men were being hunted by the entire Boston... Uh, bat... Bat... Batalon? Bat... Bachelon? I don't know how to pronounce that. I had to get her out of the city. How was I supposed to know the Firefly's escorts were already dead? I panicked. In the end, I healed pretty quickly, and my men were more capable than I gave them credit for. More than a handful survived the army's attack. I should have kept her with me. Instead, I handed her off to a couple of smugglers. I failed, Yorana. I failed all of us. April 25th. I can't stand talking to any of them. I don't think I can take the stairs any longer. No way I can stay here. April 28th, one of our scouts just radioed in. He spotted an older man and a young girl entering the tunnel by the bus terminal. He thinks she might have had red hair, but he's not sure. What if it's her? Stop doing this, Marlene. So up until this point, she thought Ellie was gone. She thought they were, we weren't making it, basically. The recon squad is about to head out. I'm going to join them. April 28th, when you're lost in the darkness, look for the light. She's alive. They're running the tests on her now. I can't tell if I'm excited, scared, or just nervous. All I know is my hands won't stop shaking. So right now, today is April 28th. Huh. So she didn't know. I mean. Did. So we arrived at the hospital. So I'm assuming March 23rd is here at this hospital. There was much celebration. I mean, but why did she hand Ellie off to us? Because it's like, I mean, I understand, obviously, we were getting our guns in exchange. But why? Yeah, that's it. I'm coming. This is where we have to go, but it's like, did Marlene? I'm just gonna say this here, right here, right now. If you thought the first half of this episode was bad, you can't even begin to imagine how awful this is going to be. Um, but I don't know if I can even. How am I even supposed to sneak past them? Either way, um, so. I guess it is a mystery to me as to why Marlene, uh, I think that's the only way to get in there, Marlene sent Ellie with us in the first place, because it's like, well then I have to do this, so there's two guys there, there's a guy right there. How am I going? I'm going to try to just sneak past these guys. I, I think I'm just going to try to sneak past them. It's going to take a while, a long time, but right, that dude's going to turn around. And then... Should be able to get right there. So... I don't know if that dude... That dude right in front of us, pointing the light at us, he shouldn't be able to see me. I don't think he'll come close enough for that. But it's like, did Marlene? I don't know. That, that to me is a mystery. If she promised Ellie's mother to look after her, why would she send her off with Joel and Tess? And I don't know what our relationship was even at, like, at the time, you know? I hear people running. 
Why do I hear people running? There's no one in this room. Sweet. Alright. Oh, is this actually... Because I think the door's, like, right there. Alright. I think... There are two people right there. I'm right there. I'm right here. I'm home. I'm right here. I'm literally right here. Leave me alone. I'm literally right here. All right. Well, I I thought there was two guys. I knew there were two guys there. I thought I could just run right past them, but nope. One has to get me in. Like, ugh. all right. That's just okay. This is gonna be dumb. This is just gonna be dumb. I have the right idea. I'm just gonna sneak right past them. I don't care. I'm just gonna when they turn their back, I'm sneaking behind them. As far as those two guys there, um. I don't know how I'm gonna, I I don't know how I'm going to do that. I don't know how I don't need a health kit. Um I don't know. I'll decide when I get to that one room cuz nobody can see me in that one room. Either way, when it comes to Marlene, I, I kind of want to continue this. I mean, on one hand it's like I don't know. Did I mean I don't know. As far as sacrificing Ellie, I mean, yes, it's for mankind, but at the same time, we kind of look at Ellie as a daughter now. It's much more than just, I should have waited for this guy. Sneak around here. Okay, so this part is easy. I just don't know what to do about these goons. They're like sneak. They're like crouching. That's lame. That's lame. So I think what I'm gonna do. Should I make a bomb? Okay, I think I'm going to. And the worst part is I can't hear them, so I don't know where exactly they are. It looks like there's a dude right there. Like, right in front of us. I think I'm just going to hop out and just burn our way through. Because that's the door right there. All we have to do is just press triangle and... Oh my god, dude, can you stop? What am I supposed to do? They have assault rifles just shooting at me. What am I supposed to do? It's like, what on earth am I supposed to do? They have assault rifles and they're crouching. Alright, so this is easy. I can get through this fine. I just don't understand. Alright. I think I killed all of the dudes there. Some guy jumped over there. So all these guys are dead. There we go, finally. Took me long enough. All right, let's just get Ellie and dip. All right, so I'm pretty sure it's all the way down here. Right, it's this room right in here. There are doctors. 
What are you doing? I won't let you take her. All right, anyone else want some? All right, Ellie, I've come to get you. Come on, baby girl, I got you. Let's go. I got you. I'm pretty sure those were probably like the last of the doctors. Oh, There's probably like no more doctors. We just slaughtered them all, but. All right. Um, so where on earth? Am I going? I'm getting you out of here, girl. I got you. I got you. I don't know where we're going. Tell me which way. Oh. We're out of here. We're out of here. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, an elevator right down here. Okay, let's go. I said get back! Let's go. So we have Ali. That is kind of crazy that we did all of this. Like we made this whole journey to get to the hospital and here we are just reversing everything. Or not reversing everything, but taking Ali back basically. We brought her here. Now we're taking her all the way back. It is kind of crazy. You can't save her. Oh, Even how did she know we were going down here? She ran down here as soon as we broke she's free. Torn to pieces by a pack of clickers. That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. All right. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. And you know it. Look. But would you really want to help the fireflies? Here. I mean, she after knowing. Got her. What am I wearing? Just take it easy. Drugs are still wearing off. What happened? We found the fireflies. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. Ain't done a damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... St they've stopped looking for a cure. I'm taking us home. I'm sorry. So... Joel is basically... I mean... Sneak attack. Joel is basically lying. Uh, we don't know for sure that there are others immune. I would have to assume. Wait. Let me go. Please. I don't think so. There we go. Kill Marlene. Oh my goodness. Ooh. So that's that. That's that. Well. Looks like we're walking.
Should be a straight shot. And now we're playing as Ellie for some reason. Um, but as far as I know, Got Joe's lying. Um, yeah. we don't know for sure that there are others immune. Um, and that there are others like Ellie. I mean, I think it's pretty clear that Ellie is the only one. I mean, after everything that we went through, after everything that Fireflies went through to get her. Yeah, I think it's making it clear that Ellie is the only one. Um, it's not so much that Ellie's immune as much as it's the... The fungus has mutated. It's uh, affecting her differently. And that's what the Fireflies kind of wanted to extract and find out. And Unfortunately, we had they, had they would have to kill her in order to do so. Um, so, I, I don't think Ellie can be the only one. I mean... There has to be other people where the fungus, this mutation, um, this disease, whatever, um, affects others differently. There has to be others, but Joe's basically lying to protect Ellie. And I it's guess, like, now. I don't know, at some point he has to tell the truth because I think that, yeah, he made the right decision. Um, you know, we, we have a newfound relationship with Ellie. Okay, just knock the entire tree down. Um, and it's like, yeah, I got you. It's not about. I mean, I guess yeah, Ellie could have wanted to oh, go on. through the surgery, but I don't know. Hey, wait. Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So... She says... Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. You don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. And there we have it. That was The Last of Us. Um, I really enjoy the ending. I think it is one of the more... Um, I mean, it ends. There's no, like... It just ends like that. And I like it a lot. Um, it is... I think it's part of Ellie believes Joel. But I think part of her thinks that he's lying. Um... I mean, I don't think it's necessarily selfish, because at the end of the day, this is kind of Joel's story, you know, and at the beginning, he lost something of great value, a, a daughter to him, you know, his actual daughter, I don't know why I'm speaking, like, metaphorically, he lost his daughter, and so it'd be really, really <laughs> depressing or just chaotic if he lost another person that he spent, what, like, a year with. We spent like a year together, you know? So... I think the right decision was made. I think that... I think that the right decision was made in this case. Um, because it is about Joel and, and his experiences with everything. And I think it would kind of suck after everything that we've been through to lose Ellie. Because yeah, one thing is giving Ellie up to the Fireflies, letting them do what they have to do to find a cure. But to sacrifice her in the in the 
process? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. It is kind of sad. Cause that does mean that like characters like Tess. I, I don't know if she really died for nothing. I mean, she wasn't a big part of the story. I mean, she only lasted a couple episodes and then, you know, she got killed off. But I don't know. I like it. I, I thought it was a great ending. Um... I enjoyed it a lot. So, that was The Last of Us. Um, I liked it. I'm going to say, I don't think there's anything after these credits. Um, I don't think there's anything after the credits. I'm pretty sure it just goes to the main menu. But, that was The Last of Us. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say. Um, but, I don't think, I don't, th I think that's pretty much everything. I mean, I don't know, they kind of uh, ended up... With Marlene, I, th I thought she was a good character at first. Um, but look at the puppers. Pogo and Trumpet? Look at the puppers. Um, I thought they, they kind of made her out at the end to be a good, bad character. Like, she had bad intent, but for good reasoning. You know? Um, but... I don't know if I necessarily like the way that they treated her at the end. Because she was willingly going to sacrifice Ellie. She's willingly going to sacrifice Ellie to the Fireflies for the cure. And she promised Ellie's mother, basically, to protect her and look after her. And so it's like... Is that something that Ellie's mother would have wanted? And I guess, yeah, the argument can be made that Ellie wanted it. I mean, Ellie made... She did... We made our way through the world to get to, um... You know, to get to the Fireflies. And I'm sure Ellie at some point wanted to do this, but... I don't know. Uh, it is kind of an interesting story, an interesting ending. Um, but I think the right decision was made. You know, because the world wasn't very kind to Joel at all. Or Ellie. So why should either one of them sacrifice something to give back to something that's been a great enemy throughout their journey? You know? Either way. That was The Last of Us. I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. Uh, I love this game very much, and I love this Let's Play, so I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um, of course, if you guys enjoyed the finale, uh, don't forget to drop a like, as that would be greatly appreciated. Any support on the series would mean the world to me. Uh, I had an absolute time playing through this game again, uh, and hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, the content. Um, I, I just I love this game a lot. It's one of, the, one of the few games that I can actually sit down and replay and yeah it's a little aggravating at times uh like i said i'm not very good at stealth or sneaking or anything like that so there are moments where it gets in the way and it gets kind of distracting from the fun because i hate sneaking but it is what it is um i enjoyed a lot so that's all that matters uh either way i don't think there's anything after this um we've seen a good good chunk with the credits uh i don't know if it is wrapping up anytime soon Alright, so, uh, the credits rolled, uh, that was, of course, The Last of Us. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, I hope you guys enjoyed the series as a whole. Definitely a great Let's Play, definitely a great game. Uh, and again, I know I just said this, but thank you guys so much for any and all support. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the Let's Play as much as I did. Uh, and with that said, you guys, take care, have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.